SR93 boxing, I'm back with a quick video. See, um, I obviously made some videos on giving my reasons and why I think Kell Brook should have taken the 30% split and why I think Kell Brook is the biggest scam artist in boxing and a hypocrite. He's not a bad fighter in his own rights, but you know, by the way, uh, to understand this video more, I guess it's good to look at this vi the video that I've, I posted below in the description box, description thingy, whatever you want to call it. And it's from Boxing Library and shout out to him, yo. He breaks down um, resumes of Kelbrook and other fighters. And this is important because some of these comments that I was getting was, oh, Americans five and three in his last, last eight fights. Americans been knocked out three times. So why is he asking for a 70% split? But you have to understand who American fought in his last eight fights. Then you have to look at who Kale Brook fought in his last eight fights. And then you have to think on your mind. Um, would Kale Brook, uh, be on, um, would Kale Brook lose just as much as American with those, if he fought the same people that he fought American? Or would he beat them or what? Because how do you come to the conclusion that if Danny Garcia hits Kale Brook with a left hook that he will not go down? Why? How did you get that conclusion? Because what, Jojo Dan uh, tried to hit him and he couldn't and uh, Jojo Dan failed to do what Danny Garcia did to Americon so Danny Garcia won't be able to do it to Americon? Just because your fucking Jojo Dan couldn't do shit doesn't mean Danny Garcia won't be able to do shit. And that's... And you know, that, again, Lamont Peterson fight, people know that was bullshit. That was a controversial uh, fight. We already know Carson Jones almost beat the fuck out of Kell Brook in the first fight. And you know, you, you look at the um, resumes, Frankie, Gavin, Jojo, Dan, Kevin, Busy, of course they're not supposed to beat you. They're not supposed to beat you. So, w if I fight a hundred um, ten-year-old kids, one by one, in a professional boxing match, in a professional boxing ring, I will come out hundred fights, hundred knockouts, with zero losses. I will not suffer a single knockout, I will not be um you know i mean i will suffer no losses no knockouts nothing just 100 knockouts all knockouts within less than one round so and you know that will give me a better record than manny pacquiao and with your logic i would then be better than manny pacquiao right is that is that would you agree with that then you have to i mean otherwise you're being a hypocrite so you know it's not always about what your record says it's you know, it's not always about your, what your record, like um, how many times you lost, how many times you win. It's also about who you lost to and who you won against. See the video I put uh, down on my uh, description box? That video states, I think, uh, co compares the statistic for four years and two months for Kell Brook and Errol Spence. And in that four years, I think Kell Brook had nearly 80% of his, within that four years, I think 80% of his opponents had you know losing records if you don't know what that means literally these guys were losing way more losing more than they were winning like a 12 and 80 you know, 12 and 50 or something like that you know 50 wins 129 losses or something like that that's what that's who Kelbrook was fighting how would how would you be able to gauge what Kelbrook would do against someone like a Danny Garcia or Canelo based on what you've seen him do against a fucking Alvaro Robles or a fucking Ernie Smith. Like, I don't want to disrespect this Ernie Smith guy because you know I try to, I actually try to look up to him, not look up to him. Sorry, look up, look him up on a box wreck to see any like who he, who he lost to. And you know he passed away. That's the crazy thing. You know I don't want to be disrespectful to him because you know he passed away. And no matter how good or bad a boxer is, it's, you know at the end of the day that's a human life. So you know you can't be like you still want to show some respect. He passed away, right? So, but you know, either way, let's be the honest truth is he was losing to people with losing records, and you know, that, that's Ernie Smith, and that's who Kelbrook for had a trilogy. If Kelbrook for top fighters, there's no guarantee that he loses, there's not that he wins or loses, right? He is yet to prove. He's what? He really fought Sean Porter, which was a close win, and he fought Golovkin, which he lost. People are saying, oh, he had a better performance against Golovkin than Khan did against Canelo, but really now, 
the first fight, Kelbrook almost got knocked out. Sorry, the first round. Kelbrook almost got knocked out in the first round. But you know, it was a good performance. I did predict Kelbrook to put out a good performance. That was really my first video, predicting Kelbrook versus Triple G. And, you know, Kelbrook got stopped in round five. If those punches that hit him on the eye did not hit him in the eye, just hit him in the jaw, he would have been out too. And that fight, the way it was going, you let it go like maybe 10, 20, 30 seconds, that fight would have been, Kelbrook would have been on the floor. If it went to round six, like Amir Khan's fight went to late round six, Kelbrook would definitely be on the floor with a broken face. So, you know, it's all about who, it's also about who you fight. As I said before, if I fought 100 shitty people, I would be 100 and 0 with 100 knockouts. But that doesn't, so according to these people's logic, I will be a better fighter than Manny Pacquiao. See that, see how retarded these people's logics are? Like this, the logical uh, thought, they put, the thought they put into this and they, the logic they come out with their thoughts is retarded, unbelievably retarded. No disrespect, but like, damn, you have to think. You guys have to think. And you know, another reason why Americans not getting support, this is something um, I already mentioned in my video. This is the reason why, like, uh, no, I think the video was called I support American because of this or something like that. And one of the reasons was, um, he, there's a lot of racist people. Now, not everyone's racist. I must, I must make that clear. Not everyone's, like, there's a lot of racist people in the UK, but not everyone's racist. Not everyone's prejudiced against uh, people of, Americans background or similar, you know, South Asian, uh, Muslim, things like that. But you know, at the same time, there's plenty of them. There's plenty enough. You get, I bet you, if Ricky hadn't took those losses like American took, he wouldn't get the same um, same shit thrown at him. And you know, there's a bunch of people. There's people going on saying he's a Pakistani piece of shit. There's people. People said that on my own comments. I actually suffer from racism as well within YouTube, and I didn't even do YouTube for a long time. I don't even get that many views. But I, I, you know, there's racist people out there. People are gonna try and hide. No, it's not racism. And for you know, a lot of people, it's not racism. But for a lot of people, it is racism. So, and you know, people can try and deny it. Fuck that shit, man. You look at his Twitter. You look at his Prescott videos. I mean, I actually gave proof. Go look at that video. The reason like I support America because of this. And look at after maybe ten minutes. I screenshot. The screenshots of racist comments that I had, prejudice comments of his background, whether it's ra race, religion, cultural, or whatever. I literally found them within five minutes. It, I went to the video and I said, okay, if I can find any racist things. And you know, I, I found a bunch of them. I just screenshotted them, just screenshotted them. And to be honest, I found a lot more, but I couldn't fit them in properly. And you know, I just want to put up some uh, ones that were. Yeah, I just put some of them, you know. So, you know, that's really it. That's really why I think Amir Khan's not getting the support in the UK. And that's why I think, uh, you know, and also... Kelbrook fans, some of these fans, you know, obviously they hate Amir Khan. Some of these fans are just deluded. And some of these fans that hate Amir Khan, a lot of them is because of their race. As I, I made it clear. I made it... I, you can say it's bullshit, but I made it clear already. I, I gave him proof. If you want more proof, go to his Twitter. If you want... Like this, it's all over. Everyone suffers with racism, but damn, this guy's getting too much. Otherwise, you already know if Ricky Hatton went through, Ricky Hatton's getting knocked out by someone like Floyd Mayweather, who's not even known for knocking people out. I'm not trying to discredit him, but at the same time, you already know if a Khan got knocked out by Floyd, people would shit on him even more. And Ricky Hatton was more disrespectful to Floyd. Ricky Hatton's on coke. I mean, he was on coke, right? Alcoholic, coke. You know, can you imagine if American was either one of those? Man, he'll get shitted on even worse. But you know, it's American. He's this Pakistani. He's gonna get hate. So yeah, that's really all I have to say, man. Kelbrook, these fans, they will do whatever they can to put Kelbrook on a higher status than American just because they hate American and partly to do with race. Say what you want, but there's the proof. You can be in denial as much as you want. But the thing is, if you got balls, you're going to see the proof. You're actually going to see it for yourself. And you're going to try to own up and say, okay, there may be a race problem here. And that's one of the reasons why Americans hate it. But not everyone was like that. And uh, I hope I made every uh, moment, every, sorry, every 
point that I wanted to make clear. I keep, I keep thinking there's something that I forgot to say that I'm, I have something that I haven't said that I forgot to say. But anyway, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, you Brook fans need to just use your brains a little bit. Brook is a hype job scam artist. Tell him to buy Errol Spence. I'm SR93 Boxing. I'm out.